How's it going guys? Kings Pranks are back with a brand new episode of Gangster Please Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the last episode, episode 245, where we did our second of the horror games for the month of October. We played a horror game and it was random. We had a little two for one special there. We played Unforgiving. It was kind of boring. And those are my thoughts. If you missed the video, go check it out. Today, we're here with episode 246, and I'm happy to say we are halfway done through the horror games, but I think the worst is yet to come. Today's episode, we are playing The Evil Within. I've actually wanted to check this game out for a good bit. Forgot the backstory of this. Some guy that used to work on either Silent Hill or Resident Evil left to make his own game. I think it was Silent Hill, and he created this one. This is the first one. There is a second one, and I think there's DLC expansions for both, so there's there's a lot of uh, content out there, if we're interested. Also, before we get into today's episode, I would like to say I don't think we are going to make the final episode for the Halloween for October 31st. I will explain why. There has been a lot of situations <laughs> that have just made my life fucking hell. And uh, I got a little bit of stories to tell. All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3. 1199. Never heard that. Look at all those police codes, I've never heard of them. I only know 5150, That's about it. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up, said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. In the mental hospital? Hey, he beats the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven, one, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. That guy seems like the type of guy to only have one glove on. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. So 184, I think, is the squad car. Is there any... I don't think that's actually Jesus. police too. Oh, also, this game actually came out, I think, in like 2014. It's actually quite old. But, oh, I, he actually has two clubs. Any thoughts? I remember when this game was announced, and they're already like have sure released a second one. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a third one in the works. But fuck, I can't believe how old this game is already. Here is where our nightmare, nightmare begins. Are all the cops dead? What do you make of it? Connolly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. The only one guy is dressed up as a cop. Everyone else is kind of like, like, he's got a trench coat, he, you know, he's like a detective. I don't know what the fuck this guy is on my left, I guess he's like some tech guy. And then she's like our sexy cop lady. This camera's really zoomed in, can I back this up? I'm not liking this. Okay, no, it does not go back anymore. I'm also not a fan of the black bars. Or maybe it's just because, like, this is like cinematic. I don't know if the whole game will be like this. But it just looks fucking weird. So I guess I can kind of talk about what's going on with me. Fucking just craziness. Like, oh my god, I've just been so fucking busy with work. Because, you know, Mr. Fucking Supervisor here, hey. No, actually, we had a situation. Uh, actually, another situation. So we, we've had some drama within the team. This is actually a different situation, so I'm recording this Tuesday night. Uh, on Saturday, I get a call from my manager. He says, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing, you know, it was my day off. I was actually going to record this on Saturday, so I could upload it for, like, Monday. 
recorded Saturday, edited Sunday, upload it Monday. It smells like blood. And make it go live on Monday. Right. And then short. later in the week, I would record my fourth episode and hopefully to get that up on on Saturday. We're gonna check for out. Halloween. Don't let anyone that else through this door. Went out the fucking window. Alive. So we don't know what's happening here. You're a Saturday, he calls me. He says, "Hey, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, you know, it's my day off. Uh, uh, some family." Excuse me, some family was going to come over and then I was going to record this episode. Well, he calls me and he's like, yo, you got to come to work. This guy, one of my guys, says one of his roommates called and said he tested positive for COVID. So he's got to get the fuck out of there. And basically everyone that worked with him that day also has to leave. So I'm like, what? How many people does that leave us with? So our team is 10, and we have 5 out of commission right now. So I've been having to work overtime. Oh, I thought you were alive. Uh, I've been having to work overtime. It's been fucking hard as shit to schedule, because I've only got like 5 people, and their availabilities aren't the best for what I need. Uh, because we have part-timers and full-timers, and basically I'm just working with full-timers, or part-timers right now. All my full-timers are out. So, it just so happened that the part-timers, they're, they're in school, and they have a reading week this week. So they're able to pick up some more hours. So it just, it worked out so perfectly. But yeah, I've been, um, I work today, Tuesday, I've worked... Since last Tuesday, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to work Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And I'm hoping to have Thursday off. So the the people that worked with him, they can't come back until they test negative for COVID. Oh, we got an Albert what Wesker kind of person. Uh, yeah, so they can't come back till they test negative. Now, one of the girls has taken the test and got and tested negative but uh someone else also took the test and said they'll get the results in five days within five days so yeah i'm just fucking stressed out of my mind i am absolutely fucking exhausted the past few days i basically work i come home i pass out and i go back to work like Legit. I was going to bed at like 7.30 p.m. <laughs> like I'm fucking 80 years old. Oh my god. It was ridiculous. Oh, look at this fucking guy. Yeah, I was just so fucking dead tired. and I've kind of balanced out. I had to get an energy drink today. Oh, he's hacking away. I had to get an energy drink to kind of... Oh, what the fuck? Is that a glitch or what the fuck am I looking at? That's glowing. But it's... It just says rotate camera. But that thing's glowing. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's got a torso. Go back and forth. Isn't he gonna hear us? Whatever. So yeah, my my team is half down. One girl's coming back. I'm supposed to be coming back Thursday. So she comes back and then I can go and take a fucking much needed break. Yeah, it's fucking stopped me from being on track with this. Uh, I just haven't been able to record at all, so. I'm gonna try to get it out on Halloween. So I'm recording this Tuesday night. I'm gonna edit it Wednesday. Hopefully it'll be up by Thursday. But, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be a tough one, but I'm going to try and get it out for Saturday. Halloween. We got a sneak. He's already kind of sneaking because, like, he's walking, but he's walking, like, very slow. I don't think anybody would hear him. I don't think we can stealth kill this guy. Seems kind of... Okay. Let's 
See you later. I'll take those keys though. Ordinary keys, a key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Maybe he was putting this guy back together. Wait, is he coming back? Oh my god. Hold up. Um. That's GG? That's just a flesh wound. That's not a flesh wound. That's, that's a deep, deep gash. If I turn off the music, he'll probably hear me. Actually, I think there was a door here on the right. Try that. So yeah, that's been my week. It's been pretty shitty. Yeah, that's about it. Honestly, it's just been fucking trash. I'm probably gonna need a test too, cause like I'm, I didn't work with the guy, but I'm working in the area, so it's like fucking radioactive Chernobyl, where I might get infected. I don't know. I don't really don't know how the virus works, but I know I've been sanitizing a lot more, I'm just trying to you know take precautions, but you can only do so much. Oh my god. Really? How'd you get up here so fast? Oh god. Uh, I thought he was running by himself. Come on! This is a weird... Oh, he got hit. Oh wait. Am I dead again? I look fucking dead as shit. There's a hatch. This is a hell of a mental asylum. How the fuck was there just a giant grinder like in the basement? And there's giant grinders in here. This reminds me of the movie The Collector. I don't know if anybody's ever watched it, but it's a pretty good horror movie. And it's basically this guy, he breaks into a house, and he sets up, like, saw traps just everywhere. And basically, he, like, collects people. He'll put them in his little black box. Actually, it's been a while since I watched it, but I really remember enjoying it. But he set up death traps like this. I highly recommend it. That, you know what? And it actually has a sequel? And it's actually decent as well. And it continues the story. Which is weird, because like when you see a horror movie, it's it's usually like the story doesn't continue from thing to thing. But this one does. Oh, I was waiting for a button prompt to pop up. I can see something walking by here. Maybe not. See what's over here. I hope he's not gonna limp the whole game. That would already put us at a disadvantage. Oh, he even limps when we're fucking sneaking. That's cool. Cool. Cool attention to detail right there. I forgot what I was saying. There's somebody behind me. Oh yeah, the collector. Good movie. Check it out. Especially if you're looking for like a horror movie for Halloween. Watch The Collector 1 and 2. My recommendation. But actually, speaking of murders and horror stuff, I've actually been really into... I've been watching some stuff lately. It's been basically murder mystery type stuff. Uh, for some reason, this guy's gonna fucking jump Where's at me. The exit? Old note from the sewer. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there's a ladder which could take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Oh, no jump scare. That is a locked door. 
yeah, I've been watching a lot of murder mystery stuff. So I was on Netflix and I was just kind of seeing what's trending. And I saw this um, documentary called American Murder. I actually want to see if that door will open. Fuck me, I gotta go limp back. Uh, I watched a movie, or, or the documentary was called uh, American Murder. The Chris Watts story. And basically it's his husband who killed his wife and two daughters and tried to get away with it. And cops just busted him. They're like, yo, we know you did it. Just come clean. Why'd you do it? And, you know, he came clean and, you know, he didn't really have a good excuse for killing his family. So, you know, he kind of went to jail. Is there anything in this room? Why? Why did that close? I don't think there's anything in here, though. So, yeah, he got caught. I remember, I actually saw footage of him once on YouTube. I was, I don't know why, but I was watching body cam footage. And they show it in the documentary, too, of when the uh, cop first comes to the house uh, when they were reported missing in the family. And the cop goes to the neighbor because the neighbor's like, yo, I got a camera. Let me show you what I saw. So they show the guy or the husband. Uh, he has his truck and he's putting stuff in the trunk. In the truck. It was in the trunk of the truck. And, you know, God, there's going to be something above this ladder. Maybe not. They're not going for the easy jump scares. I appreciate it. Change it up. Can we fucking change these borders, though? I fucking hate the goddamn look of this. Oh my god, I took it out. Okay, it was letterbox. I thought that had to do with subtitles and stuff like that. But no, it actually had to do with the screen. Alright, thank god. I prefer the full screen. Something's gonna jump in my face. I want I want the whole shabam. So, yeah, he uh, murdered his family, tried to get away with it. Uh, oh, it's the body cam footage. So, in the body cam footage of the cop, they show... He's talking to the neighbor. The neighbor shows the video of him dumping the body into the truck. They don't know that at the time. He says he's putting tools away for work. And the guy, the husband leaves and the neighbor's like, yo, he's acting super weird. Like, he never acts like this, so... There's fucking dead giveaway number one. And the, the YouTube video that I watched, I don't know why I was watching police body cam footage once upon a time. But um, the video is called, like, The Moment Chris Watts Knew He Was Fucked. What the fuck? Oh, he's back. Am I pushing this? What am I doing? There's a hold X option. Oh, he's in here. I should have opened the door to make it seem like I went through there. Oh my god. I wonder if I have to hold R. I'm gonna hold R1 just in case I let go and I get out of the fucking locker. Oh god, he's looking at me. Bro, bro. Oh my god. Stop. Ooh. Holy fuck. Yeah, we'll give it a few seconds just in case he's still there. Uh, so, yeah, the body cam footage was like the moment he knew he was caught. My dragon. Oh, I think that's him. The chainsaw wielding man. So yeah, it was an interesting documentary. Oh my god. No, no, stay there.
Oh, oh, oh shit. He saw me? Oh my god, he did. Come on. Oh, he touched me. Bro, he is actually fast. Oh my god, this is a dead fucking end. Oh, buddy. Oh, at least you destroyed the box, and I'm down. That was a little glitchy. It's fine, though. God damn it, how do you see me? Yeah, it was just a decent little documentary, kind of exploring a man and why he murdered his family. It was alright. After watching it, I uh, totally remembered about another case that I was familiar with. It was really big when I was growing up, the Lacey Peterson case. She was pregnant. She was murdered by her husband, Scott Peterson. She was pregnant. She was like eight months pregnant. She goes missing on fucking Christmas Eve. And, uh, of course the husband did it. <laughs> oh, am I gonna... I actually have to get in there? Oh, bro. I am laying a fucking trail of blood. But yeah, it reminded me of the Scott Peterson case. Then I was watching a documentary thing on that. And that one's pretty interesting, because... The whole Chris Watts thing... It got resolved in like, oh, I think it was like a week. <laughs> and it was, he was like caught. Oh god, don't see me. He was caught relatively fast. But uh, with the Scott Peterson thing, they like suspected him, but they never really had any proof. And eventually, you know, they found that he had a mistress. They found out that he had a mistress. He was cheating on his wife. And uh, one day they were going to, like, I think they were going to go catch him. And then they found him. He dyed his hair. He grew out a beard. He looked completely different. He got caught. And that was actually a brutal murder. The Chris Watts one wasn't as brutal. Uh, he strangled his wife. And I think smothered his kids. But the Chris Peter, the Scott Peterson, Lacey Peterson thing, that was a fucking violent murder. He killed her. Then he dismembered her, cut off her head, beheaded her, cut off all her limbs. Uh, cut out, cut open her stomach, and I think he slashed the baby too. It was fucking crazy graphic. And then they ended up finding her torso, and like, it came to shore one day, a bunch of months later. It happened December, Christmas Eve, and her body was found in like April. Is he behind me? Again? Bro! This guy is relentless! <laughs> He'll never catch you now. Come on, get in there, buddy! There's some solid bars. See, so, yeah, he, like, really did a number on his wife. And I, I think he stabbed the unborn child too. It was like it was just really graphic. That that was like a crime of hatred. Like you don't to chop somebody up. Like come on. I'm not trying to like defend the guy smothering his kids and wife and shit, but that's I fucked up. But the guy that fucking dismembered his wife, cut out the unborn child. Fucking cut off her arms and legs and just made her a torso? That's just a little more fucked up. Yeah, I've just been on like a true like murder spree. I started watching um, Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. I've watched the first three episodes. And I gotta say they're 
pretty long. If they cut out a few minutes of each episode, all three episodes I find have gone on way too long. They just get boring near the end. Because they've got nothing. They're unsolved mysteries. So you just present the facts, you present who you think it is, and you end the fucking episode. But they drag it out near the end, and I'm just not a fan of that. But they've been some interesting cases. There's one guy that, like, went through a roof. Um, they don't know who killed him. Oh, that door opened. There's a guy, I guess his thing healed. He's not limping anymore. What the fuck is that? Hold on, I want to see his leg. Is it still cut? Bro, the cut's not even there! His paints... His pants are back to normal. He's fully healed now. How? How the fuck is that the case? What is going on here? What is exploding? So yeah, uh, anyways, Unsolved Mysteries, Netflix. It's not bad. Uh, just very boring. It's interesting, then it gets fucking way boring. We've escaped! Game over! Oh, it's... Got a terrorist attack in the city? Detective! Get in! Get in! What the fuck is going on in this game? The game doesn't take place in the, uh, in the mental institution. Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but... Uh... Please, settle uh, down, Leslie. I feel like this game's kind of all over the place. Like, it's not supernatural, it's not... I don't know what you, like how you describe it. I guess it is supernatural. This guy's like teleporting and shit. I mean that's not my definition of supernatural. Supernatural is like otherly world, ghost type stuff. Well, I guess he's I don't know. He's, he fucking teleported and stabbed a bunch of people. That's not very supernatural. It's kind of supernatural. It's more sci-fi. He's teleporting. fucking disaster movie going on end of the world scenario I don't even know where this game takes place but yeah, anyways Unsolved Mysteries Netflix pretty cool watch the first three episodes Shit. like I said the first episode is interesting it's about a guy he goes missing they find his body uh, falling through a roof of course, they think he was pushed, and they describe why, and blah, 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 blah. Second episode was probably the best episode so far. It was about this lady that, she was a, she worked in a hair salon, and she went missing. And kind of just talks about her backstory and stuff like that. And the ending is pretty... Damn it. Gross. We cut off from everyone. Like, there's a, a suspect, must be dead. and it's like, okay, that's the fucker that everyone did it, right but they don't have Just enough proof for it. I don't want to spoil who it is and whatever, but episode two Fine. is worth a watch. And there's a character, not a character, we'll he's not a character, he's a fucking real person. Uh, oh shit. Fine. Fine. There's a person that's, uh... Fine. 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 That is just like, how... How was this person not investigated? Actually, I think he had, a, he had alibis. Um, that, uh... Made him not the person, but... He definitely is prime suspect number one. What the fuck is going on?
and game over. <laughs> and episode three was a pretty interesting one as well. Is this a loading screen? Chapter one, clear. The third one was actually a pretty interesting. You've got this French family and the f it's a father, wife, and four kids. And the family is murdered, except the husband. And he is the one that they think did it. Pretty straight and cut forward, and you know they haven't been able to find him, so he's still out there. They think he killed himself, um, but some people think he's still living. So. That might never be solved. You know, I wonder. There's. I, I was looking up unsolved mysteries. There's 15 seasons or something like that. It's gone through like different iterations, but I was just thinking, like, how many of them actually got solved? How many of them remain unsolved? Probably most of them. I want to say maybe like 10% probably got resolved or at a later date got uh, some sort of evidence that uh, either cleared someone who they suspected or got a person who was a suspect. I feel like something... I was like, I'm, something's got to happen here. Why are you climbing on top of me? That was very red. So yeah, the third episode was interesting. It's all in subtitles though, because they're all speaking French. So, if subtitles aren't really your thing, then that's not going to be a good episode for you. There. Ooh, we're back in the asylum. Got some bugs. Got nothing. Oh, hello, nurse. Are we Please away? don't scream in my face. Is everyone else all right? The city. Whatever are you talking about? You are the only soul here. Oh, is this gonna be like a fucking? Uh, what's Shutter Island type scenario where he's actually like a mid? Oh, I almost spoiled the movie. Ah, fuck it. It's been out for a while. Shutter Island's a good movie, though. I was about to spoil it. I'm not gonna... Ah, fuck it. Leonardo DiCaprio, he, uh, plays this detective. Hello? And he goes to, like, this mental Anybody place. There? This mental asylum. To investigate something. And it turns out that he was actually a patient the whole time, and the movie played out in his head. Maybe this is that type of scenario. Maybe this guy here, he's actually a patient. What the hell is going on here? And he's observing all these things and making a story up in his head. A hospital. This place is necessary for you. You're always welcome here. I've been hospitalized. Oh, that's very nice of you. I'm afraid I cannot answer that. What the fuck, aren't you the nurse? Please, sign in here. Mmm, I don't feel comfortable signing anything. You know, you shouldn't really sign anything if you're in a hospital and you're here for, like, Without health reasons. In. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is a save thing. This way, please. Is that a fucking electric chair? Smells like medicine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what does medicine smell like? I honestly don't know what medicine smells like. I don't know what the fuck he's smelling. Because, like, Tylenol. Well, I guess Tylenol has a little bit of a smell, but it just. At least the Tylenol I have it has, like, this red coating on it. And you can kind of smell that. And it just kind of smells kind of sweet. But regular medicine doesn't have a smell. You mustn't fight it. This is for upgrade. Your Green gel can be used to upgrade individual Stop. skill parameters. What am I sure? Whatever. There now. You see? All better. Yeah, I just got a lobotomy. I feel much better. 
Now what makes you say that? I'll be waiting. Bro, what is this fucking game right now? Oh, we're outside. Let's see if Shit. the cut's still on his leg. Nope, going on? it disappeared. <laughs> Where am I? Are all the people dead? Kidman. We didn't really check. There's a gurney. Connolly. No bodies. Well, there's some blood here. I don't know which way to go. I'm assuming follow the trail of blood. Yeah, let's go that way. Actually, another thing I watch... I haven't finished it yet, so I, I didn't want to talk about it, but... I watched a little bit of Borat, too. I've watched a bunch of trailers and clips, and I'm like, you know what? I gotta watch this fucking movie. It just seems like a riot. I will say, I've watched about 35 minutes. Okay, we got some hand-to-hand -hand combat. I've watched about 30 to 40 minutes. I want to say I'm almost halfway done. But I feel like there's already been so much movie in that fucking short amount of time. It's been weird. I feel like I've already watched so much, but there's still so much more of the movie left. But it's got some good moments. It's pretty ridiculous and outrageous. Makes you think if, like, anything is actually staged. Because for, like, when he's going for, uh, like, these presidential... Not president... Like, any government official... How are they going to say that there's, like, this camera recording them? Because there is a camera there. There's definitely a camera crew recording at, like, all times. So it's like, how do you explain that? Am I going backwards? I think I am. I never watched Borat 1, but I remember when it came out, oh, my God, everybody in my school was fucking quoting the movie. Oh, very nice. My wife. You know, all that fucking shit. And... Just everyone quoting it, like, made me not want to watch the movie. I'm just like, fuck this guy. Like, fuck this movie. You guys are annoying the shit out of me. So I never watched Borat 1. I've seen clips and stuff like that, but never watched the first one. I might have to after watching the second one, but so far the second one's decent. It's got some good moments. We're going to have to stealth kill this guy. I hear a lot of noises coming. She is Zombo? He is definitely eating somebody. Oh, we got a gun with six bullets. Get the handcuffs. Arrest him. Golly. Huh. You see it half the head. Can I not melee him? Nope, wrong move. <laughs> what the fuck? He just one hit me? Holy shit, he's fucking overpowered or I'm... Well, I guess I'm injured from the crash, but like, still, one hit? I'm just gonna shoot this time. Maybe not. That's two shots to the head. It's three shots oh to the God, head. Connolly. Can I loot your body? No. You're headless. Got some green. What the fuck? There's a brain in a jar. Okay, well, note to self, melee does not do shit. I don't even know why it's an option in this game. Unless we get, like, 
barbed wire bat or some shit later. It's probably gonna lead back to the, uh... Back to the hospital. Okay, just click it in. That looks like a scary person. But I've got like next to no ammo. I've only got two shots. And as we just saw, I need at least three. Well, there's one body shot, three headshots. Actually, there's a trap here. Is he gonna get fucking decapitated? Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Oh, this is the creepy girl from the thing. Were you warning me about this? You are Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! What the fuck? Do not say hospital. It is a trigger word for this person. Item acquired. Trap parts acquired. Trap parts are needed to craft bolts for the agony crossbow. They are used in the inventory screen. We got a crossbow. Cool. Last game I used a crossbow in. Kind of sucked dick. Which was Days Gone. So, not looking too forward to another crossbow. <laughs> don't want to sprint. It's really dumb, especially when we're injured. Now, I honestly do not know what to expect. Am I expecting zombies or... Got some crows using matches, controls, and information. Approach a fallen enemy and press circle to burn them, destroying them completely. Burning consumes one match. If the same enemies are close enough, they can all be burned with one match. Other things besides corpses and enemies can also be burned. So is he going to come back to life if I don't burn him? What is the point of burning him? Do I get anything? Fucking fades to ashes and nothing. Another brain in a jar. Love me a good brain in a jar. So anyways, before I to watch a little bit of it, it's already felt pretty long, but I do plan on finishing it. And once I finish it, I will give it a proper review. So look forward to that on the next episode. And hopefully I can watch other stuff. Maybe some more true crime stories? Hmm? I actually don't mind true- That scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Why is that purple? What is that? Is this witchcraft? Journal of Sebastian Castellan and Rose. I feel like that music's definitely copywritten. Am I leaving this? But it's trying to suck me in. I could go over there. Wait, what if I use the matches on this? Don't get an option, so probably not. Alright, let's go look in the fucking mirror. I've heard this song before. Wow, that was violent. Alright, let's look in the fucking creepy mirror. Oh my god, back here. What the... Back here again. I must be losing it.
There's the mirror. Oh, this takes me back to the upgrade room? I guess this is an upgrade room. That'll probably take me back now. Let's go to the chair, see if we can get another upgrade. I think I'm just gonna upgrade abilities, but I don't... There's nothing that I want right now. So what if we go through this mirror? Will take us back to the other mirror? Will this throw us a different area? No, no. I think that song's from Bioshock. I think it's Bioshock. gonna go through the door so one's a human this one is not human sneak kills Let's try it out. I like how every time I try and do a fucking sneak kill the fucker always turns around like what are the chances Come on, I'm technically behind him. Wow, he kicked me. Fuck you! Bro, that's so lame. Why did he even turn around? I, I don't understand. Okay, let's try this fucking sneaky melee again. I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap, I'm tapping X. Okay. Just had to tap the shit out of it before I even saw him. Now should I set him on fire? just took his brain and put it in a jar. I'm not going to set him on fire, though. We'll see what happens. Don't think there's anything else. We got to go in the creepy room. I kind of thought he was going to knock there. He saw the person. Oh, this is the crazy girl. Contextual actions. Climb over obstacles and through windows. Holy shit, this game is stuttering as fuck right now. I am playing this on PS4. I was debating getting it on um, PC. I was going to buy it on PC, but it wasn't on sale yet, and I did not want to pay a full price. And uh, this was on sale on PlayStation, and I had a $15 gift card PlayStation gave to me a couple months ago, so I'm like, you know what, I'll just put it towards that. But did I make a mistake by not buying it on PC? Probably, but who cares? We got. I'm getting like Resident Evil 4 vibes right now. That's a game we should do. Next year, Halloween, mark it down. Resident Evil 4. Hey, are you guys from around here? I don't know where. Okay, I feel like he's gonna transform into some hideous being. Or abducted by aliens? Nope, turned into a horrendous being. Oh, I thought that was the thing from the beginning. Bro, I don't have enough ammo for all this. Wow, you're fucking hideous. What turned him into the monster? I don't know what- I don't know if that's the mental institution. If I burn this... What will happen? I 
hiding in the bushes. Maybe I'll go for the other guy. Maybe not. Wait, I'm about to be sandwiched. Fuck, he's coming forward. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Fuck. Oh, what should I do? They're actually not fast. This is a dead end, let me not go there. Can we close the door and barricade the shit out of it? Matches. Give me that. What is this syringe? The origin of the medication in this travel syringe is unknown, but it provides moderate health restore restoration. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he like picked me up and chokeslammed me. Am I dead? Please don't tell me I'm dead. There's one. Not gonna set him on fu what the fuck, he's stuck to me. What is over here? There's supposed to be a boat or some shit. I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. I mean, don't look in the light, because, you know, what happened to them, they turned into some fucking monsters. So. Don't look in the light, Charlie. Name's actually not Charlie, but... Can I? No, I cannot enter the building from this way. Do you want to see for supplies, because it did have that syringe in the matches. Just take care of this piece of shit. Also setting the bodies on fire. They haven't come back to life yet, so... I will not worry about that for now. Anything back here? Maybe, oh no, because this probably leads to that front, yeah, which was open. Okay, well, let's grab this. This is probably a place to hide, yep. Nothing here. Matches. Okay. Oh, hold on, we see a trap here. With some dynamite. I felt like I was gonna accidentally walk into that. Even though I was slowing my character down, he was gonna still walk into the dynamite and just. There's one guy over there, I saw another one with uh, a lantern. Still can't set that on fire. So maybe it is not important. Is this an okay guy or he hasn't turned into like the creepy murder thing? No, he seems like a zombie. Hopefully I can jump over this fence. Oh I can't, cool. To be sneaky. So one, I'm gonna 
gonna kill this guy here first. He's just standing here like, like an idiot, frankly. Hush little baby, don't say a word. Give me your brain in a jar. Huh, he didn't drop a brain in the jar. Maybe it's because I knifed him in the head. Matches are full. Shotgun ammo. Oh my god, I would love a shotgun before we end this. I feel like, like it would actually kill somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! He already had a nail through the head, and now he's got a knife. I wonder if I can... No, it doesn't match. Okay, I was wondering if I could burn the body with the... little torch I picked up. Anything around here? I don't know if it's worth exploring stuff. Probably just for supplies. Ammo and shit. I see another bomb. Is not allowing me to. Maybe it's on this side. It is on this side. Someone had to fucking lay all these traps out. Let's. Thought something was getting too close. I'm gonna have to arm these traps, set up the grinder in the bottom of the mental. I heard growling like. There's a giant thing. Oh god. Run away. Okay, good to know. Torches, instant melee kill. I thought there was like a scarecrow or something. Oh, I saw a ladder in here. I want to climb up. Oh, it wasn't a ladder, it was a mirror. I swear it looked like a ladder. Just check on the other side, make sure I wasn't seeing anything. I thought he saw me. He's about to. Thankfully, he did not. See some more dynamite here. What is over here? Is this the next area? Oh, the one time I should have fucking set the bodies on fire. Yeah, I should probably stop doing this. Oh, am I dead? Probably. Holy glitchy fucking mess. And of course, the one time I don't set the bodies on fire. Okay, I snuck my way over here. We're setting them on fire. Hopefully it does not attract attention. And we're going to... Oh my god, I thought he was going to grab me. Come on, come on. We do not alert the other zombos. Oh, it didn't. Cool. God, this game is just so fucking stuttery. I don't know if like my recording software, it doesn't usually, so I don't know what the case may be. I 
I know on PS3 it affects it, Good but I've never God. had it had issues with it on PS4. Just keep doing what you're doing. There are a lot. Why are there so many? Why are there uh, like a hundred of them? Tell me there's a trap or some shit I can bait them into. Oh my god, you're fucking joking. Run, you fucker! Bro. Oh my god, I actually escaped. Oh my god, this is a dead fucking end. I'm getting choke slams. How did they all get alerted? Good God. They're having a zombo party. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna sneak through the right. Oh, wow, there's even more over here. I think that's just one. Oh, there's a bunch over there. I'm gonna have to kill this one and then make a run for the bridge. There we go. Are they alerted? Why? Why are they alerted? Shit. I gotta conserve my stamina. Oh, don't run out of stamina, please. She picked up some of the fucking dynamite that has God been all over the map. That is actually like literally what I saw. Get the fuck out of here. He just ran at them. Did a fucking... Okay, one shot to the head too. What is this fucking game? This is malarkey right now. Zombies don't like water. Noted. Fucking runs at them. Does a fucking backflip kick. I mean, if I could have done that too, I would have been able to escape. I think we're going to call it a session here, but I want to see the next chapter and how it starts. Let's see how chapter 3 starts. I'm in the water. Found like a cave. I'm still fucking laughing at the fact that his wound on his leg fucking just went away. Not like Batman in Arkham Knight, where you know he's slowly. You, you see the battle that he's gone through as the night goes on. No, not this guy. He fucking regenerates clothing. How? It's fucking incredible. Goddamn superhero. But, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a session here. Played a good bit of The Evil Within. Couple thoughts. It wasn't very scary. It's more tense. Kind of like Resident Evil 4. It's the only game I can really, like, compare it to where it's... It's not scary. But, like, when you're up against a thousand of those zombies and they don't die easily then it's just like a very tense situation and you're running on low supplies so it just makes the whole thing intense but it's not scary if that if that makes sense it's not scary but it's dreadful dreadful is a good word and tense tense is also a good word other thoughts game was very buggy i don't know if that's the console version if the game is just not good also it runs very choppy i don't know how the video will turn out hopefully it's a little smoother but playing this is super choppy it's fucking almost gross to play Shit. hurts my fucking eyes to look at this but it does seem promising it's got some interesting aspects to it 
that uh, I might continue trying out. So if I do play it, I'll let you know. I have not played any of the other horror games again so far. I did want to go back to Fear, and uh, I did want to try Unforgiving a Northern Hymn again, but uh, I have not gone back to it. So far, kind of duds for this Halloween. Hopefully the fourth and last game can can have some good scares. Or maybe I'm just immune. I've built up an immunity to horror games after all these fucking years. I've conquered my fears. They're not scary to me anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully the fourth one I'm actually looking forward to. It's a game I've wanted to play ever since they announced it. So... I have faith that it might be good. Uh, look forward to that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep up with everything that's going on the channel. See, so yeah, I'm going to try and get it on Halloween, but no guarantee with how things are going for me right now. So uh, Again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep up with everything that's going on the channel. And until then, guys, peace out.